to simplifying algebraic expressions, or as it's more, more commonly known, combining like terms. It should be noted that we previously defined algebraic expressions as numbers, operations, and at least one variable, and sometimes grouping symbols. Okay, so today we're going to talk about simplifying these expressions. Uh, I have a metaphor. You don't really need to take a note on this page, but my metaphor for algebraic expressions is produce on the conveyor belt at the supermarket. When we go to check out, and if we put our produce on the conveyor belt looking like this, we would probably be annoying, um, if not the people behind us, at least the cashier, because in this way they have to weigh the apples three times and remember the price and type it in and the carrots like two separate times. It would be much nicer if we put the things that were like each other together. And in a similar way with algebraic expressions, I'm gonna just translate this. Three apples as three A, two bananas as two B. One carrot, we don't really write the one. We just put C. It has a coefficient of one, even though you can't see it. Plus two A, four C, plus A plus b. Okay, this is a rather long algebraic expression. It would be much nicer if we could combine the terms that were like each other. But we don't want to combine everything into one pile with all the apples and carrots and bananas mixed together. How many piles do we want? We want three piles here. So ideally we should have a, a algebraic expression with three terms. So Please take out as many highlighter different colors as you have because we're going to need them for this. And I'm going to begin by highlighting all the terms that have an A, the same color. So I have a 3A, 2A, and A. Those all get highlighted the same color. So when I go to add them up, 3A plus 2A, that's 5A, plus one more A, so I have 6A. Now for the B's. So please notice also that when I highlight, I'm highlighting the sign that comes in front of the term as well as the term itself. So that's a plus 2B and a plus one more B. So that's a positive 3B. And then positive 1C and positive 4C makes positive 5C. So if we rearrange the fruit and vegetables in the same manner, you can see that we've got six apples, plus three bananas, plus five carrots, and everybody's happy. Okay, so it's definition time. I'm going to use this uh, example for my four definitions right now. It's 7a plus 4a plus 3b minus 6. So this is a quadrinomial. It's a variable expression with four terms. So first, let's define term. A term is a number, like 6, or the product of a number and a variable, like 7a, 4a. That s in parentheses means you may have more than one variable. There could be like a x, y, z. <laughs> so can you think of a question to which this is the answer for Cornell style notes? I'll give you a moment. Think of a question to which this is the answer. And how about what is a term? Next definition, constant. A constant is a special kind of term, any term that has no variable. A constant is a term that has no variable. In this case, I would call it negative six, because if we're just paying attention at one thing, the minus sign's with it, so it's negative six. Is our constant. Can you think of a question for this one? That's good. What is a constant? Next definition, coefficient. A coefficient is like a counter. It's counting the variable. How many a's? How many b's? A coefficient is a number that multiplies the variable. And that means it comes right in front of it. Question. What is a coefficient? Next are like terms. This is our last definition. Like terms are terms that have the exact same variable. 
And by that, I mean it's the same letter, but also the same power. If you have different powers of a letter, of a variable, then they are not like each other, they are different. Okay, like terms are the ones that we can add together. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. But it should be noted that all constants are like each other. Okay, so if there's more than one constant in a variable expression, they are like each other and can therefore be added together. So, can you think of a question for like terms? How about, what are like terms? Okay. So, now that we've got our definitions, here's the rule for today. You simplify a variable expression by adding like terms. You simplify a variable expression by adding like terms. And let's have one more question for our Cornell notes. Um, but first, let's do this example. So let's highlight the like terms. 7a and 4a are like each other, so they can be combined to 11a. Right? 7 plus 4 is 11. So when you do this, you add the coefficients and keep the variable. Is there anything like 3b? No. So we have that. And is there anything like minus 6? No. So I've highlighted those different colors. The final answer is a trinomial. 11a plus 3b minus 6. None of those are like each other, so they can't be combined. And the question for this is, how do you simplify a variable expression? You simplify a variable expression by adding like terms. Okay. From here on, it's just examples. Why don't you write this one down and try it. You can pause me for a moment and then I'll show you the answer. Welcome back. So remember to highlight and to highlight the sign. So we have an 8a and a positive 5a, that's 13a. Then we have negative 6b, positive 5b, positive and a negative. So we're going to subtract and take the sign of the larger, negative b. If you wrote negative 1b, I'm not surprised, and that's fine. But this is our preferred answer. When the coefficient is 1, we generally do not write it. Also, it should be noted that the answers are usually written in alphabetical order. So we start with our ABCs, and we end with our XYZs. Here's a second example. Pause the video, attempt it, and then check in. All right, so uh, I have 7b and negative 5b. Positive and a negative, I'm going to subtract. It equals positive 2b. Here's an example of coefficients, uh, excuse me, of constants where all the constants are like each other. So we have a positive 4 and a negative 12. They're both constants, therefore they're like each other. Constants always come at the end when we have simplified the variable expression. So that's going to be negative 8, and the answer is 2b minus 8. So we have our ABCs up to our XYZs, and then the constants at the end is the preferred order. All right, here you go. So alphabetically, M comes before n, so let's highlight our m's. We have negative 4m and negative 9m, that will be negative 13m. We have positive 6n, positive n, that's going to be positive 7n. We have 7ab plus 4ac plus 3ba minus 6ab. Here's where we need the exact same variables, but what does that mean? Well, I would say that these are all the same because AB equals BA. That's known as the commutative property of multiplication. So we have 7 plus 3 is 10. Take away 6 equals 4AB plus 4AC. There's nothing else like the AC. So our answer has two terms. And this one we can do because we recently learned the distributive property. So 
that would be the first step. Before highlighting, before simplifying, we're going to use the distributive property. So negative 2 times 5 and negative 2 times x. Negative 2 times 5 equals negative 10. Negative 2 times 1x equals negative 2x. And then we copy down the plus 7x plus 3. Now that there's no parentheses, this would be the time to highlight the like terms. Starting with the variable terms, so I have negative 2x plus 7x, that equals 5x. And then the constants come last, negative 10 and plus 3 equals negative 7. You can see how important it is to know your integer rules for simplifying variable expressions. It's very important. And you need to remember, same sign add, different sign subtract, take the sign of the larger. Um, that's the end.